So on this specific site, they had a lot of snow damage from the big snowstorm we had a couple years ago. And there's also a lot of bug kill or drought kill timber that we came in and harvested. If the trees had sat any longer, uh, they probably would have started to deteriorate and we would have lost volume and uh, as well as uh, value. So uh, we wanted to select an operator who could uh, get it done efficiently. Yeah, there's numerous challenges that come along with um, dealing with uh, either down timber or drought um, killed timber because that creates more safety concerns, especially um, for you know your crews out there on the ground and for hand felling where you know having dead trees around um, are dangerous as they're unstable and they can come down at any time. Yeah, there is a little bit more danger in the dead trees, you know, as far as tops breaking out and etc. And the snow damage down is real hard to deal with. It puts another element in. The cutters have to be more careful. The rigging crew has to be more careful because everything's not laid perfectly the way you want it. Although we wanted to get this done efficiently, we didn't want to rush it. We wanted someone who was thorough, uh, someone who did a good job. Um, so we selected Weber um, to do the work because he um, kind of takes a, a different approach to logging. He'll uh, utilize um, mechanized equipment um, rather than traditional logging. So to accomplish the challenges of the drought kill and the storm damage wood, we logged this unit in two stages. We came in and logged everything we could mechanized or cut mechanized for the yarder. We did that first and then we came in later and did all the hand falling and traditional yarding. So our mechanized cutting equipment, we have a 855 Tiger Cat with a directional falling head that can cut and we can also buck off the fallen trees from the storm damage and put place them in rows and we cable assist that machine so we can get on steeper terrain than normal. Uh, I, I like that he's uh, uh, Weber uses uh, new technology he tends to embrace it um, and try it out. So along with our mechanized cutting we also employ grapple yarding in a traditional system and a motorized grapple carriage and this allows us to yard the logs that you traditionally have to set a choker on more safely and efficiently. Grapple yarding, uh, it allows less people on the ground. Um, you don't need a rigging crew down there, which uh, eliminates a lot of the safety concerns and you don't have to worry as much. Um, and also it's incredibly efficient. I, that's probably the reason why we were, were done probably 30% faster. Some more conventional logging would have probably required more skid roads and also probably more soil compaction and in drought conditions where soil compaction um, is, and soil stability um, is even more important, you know, the, I think the, the chances of successful reforestation were improved by the techniques that Weber used. Now on this site, to minimize the soil disturbance, when we go through mechanized, we always make sure to slash our skid trails back in so we don't have erosion problems. And then we like to break the areas where we want to mechanize and do a traditional harvest on to keep our disturbance down. Most of it, you can't even tell that there was any equipment that had operated on it. Yeah, we like to leave a job in good condition, good maintenance-wise, so that water flows good, the ditches aren't going to be plugged, we're not going to be causing any erosion, brush piling done, trash picked up, we don't like to leave a mess behind. Uh, Weber Logging did a great job, um, not only meeting but exceeding the Oregon Forest Practices Act. Um, you know, there was a lot of attention to detail and a lot of the, you know, extra little things that um, take the operator time and cost them money um, that, you know, may go unnoticed to the, you know, kind of the naked eye. But um, if you look around the unit, there's a lot of good attention to detail. We try to keep the land in as good a shape as possible. We try to uh, carry out our, our harvest in a, in a way that's going to uh, treat the land ethically, that'll grow trees uh, in perpetuity. Uh, well, our company really, we try, strive really hard to do a good job, do a good job for the people we're logging for, and also leave the land in good shape. We want to see a future crop of trees for future generations. Mm -hmm.